everybody welcome back to a brand new vlog hi so today is actually saturday you're gonna see this tomorrow my camera is so messed up you're actually gonna see this tomorrow i have not vlogged all this week i know i sound really proud of it i'm really not i'm really sorry i basically just been doing loads of my teaching and nothing's happening and obviously it was still in the lockdown so we can't really do much i know some of the weeks in this lockdown i know some of the weeks in the lockdown i try and like stay occupied and like make the vlogs a little bit interesting but honest to god this week i've literally done nothing i've just done my teaching my teaching my teaching like that is it but today is saturday tom is off work he works monday to friday so we have the weekends together every weekend um we're actually gonna pop into town um i have a few depot parcels to send away and some returns to plt to make and we're gonna go to the Arndale market because tom kind of wants to go to the fishmongers to get some fish and i want to get some food there and then this evening we're just gonna chill out i reckon so it's kind of like a late start to the day we've just had some time chilling out watching tv we're very big fans of modern family and we were just watching some modern family but i actually have a couple of things that i want to share with you that i have been kindly sent look it says my name this is my name upside down but hey ho um so this is my friend's business her name is sarah and the business is called naked wax i absolutely love the name i love the market not the marketing what's that thing called the branding i love the branding of it um so please check her out she makes candles and she sent me this and you get a little thank you card with your order mine was a little gift and a little like engagement present as well she put in some sweeties but tom has demolished those already <laughs> so there's like a really nice it's almost like off off white gray um body which i love um and then there's a little this one is so freaking cute you guys there's a little cloud can you that's so adorable and that's more of like a pinkier color when this room is finished i can't wait to decorate it there's a brown um bubble one with gold leaf all over it which again i love and they smell insane like this box smells delicious and this one's my favorite it's a bit more of a chunkier lady like me she got a little bit of belly i wish i had the booty i had i have the belly I probably am like that way like that's my belly <laughs> and then that's my booty um but i love that i love the ones that get in like chunkier ones in there i'm all for that um so yeah i just wanted to share that with you so it's naked wax please 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 check it out this is not paid for but it was gifted but it was gifted from a friend i don't know if i need to disclose that but i've just told you now anyway and then i have something else to show you as well one sec oh it's just like a little pr haul hello um the brand called cute beauty sent this over to me and actually gave me a discount code as well which is sophie b25 and it's 25 percent off until next sunday um there's their everyday gradual self tan which i've actually been using and i really do like it it smells so good it comes out clear um and then you just rub it on and then it just gradually builds on top which i'm really excited about and i just think it like it looks nice and then it goes see-through and everything so yeah really really like that and then they also sent over this booty goals um mask clay mask kaolian Ka kaolin clay mask comes with a little spatula i've just dropped the spatula on the floor and i'm too lazy to <laughs> dig it up but it's so cool it looks like jelly hang on and it's like a little mask and you can use that on your bottom and it will help um so yeah really excited about that sophie b 24 and then this was sent to me this was my this is my first ever paid collab and it's nothing to do with youtube it's on instagram um and i posted it last night and, and to all of you guys who were supporting it and like commenting on it and liking it and everything honest to god it means so much like get a paid collab is like amazing and then to show the brand like look i have interactions and everything like it's a really 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 good sign so i'm super 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 grateful for those of you who interacted with it but it's on the brand Tutti Rouge, which is there. And I got a red penny and then a red bralette. And I, I kid you guys not. So if you've been here for a while, you're well aware of like my struggle finding big boobed bralettes. This brand is it. This brand is the Fuller Bust. The Fuller Bust company is the, the little thingy my bobby. Um, the bralette I got in a size... 
36 double F to G. So like that's how, and it goes up to like at least 38, maybe even 40. Um, and they're really cute. So this is the bralette. It's got all these really, really nice little um, lace and mesh details. And then at the back, you know, like the adapter, adjuster? It's a heart. How cute is that? Um, and then they also sent me over a body, which I haven't shot yet. I'm going to shoot this this week coming up. Um, but honestly, it's just, oh, I just feel so, so, so lucky and so grateful that this is the body. It's a little bit risque, um, but it's so, so, so nice. I'm really, really, really obsessed with it. And then again, they've got the, the love hearts on the back. I actually own stuff from this brand already. And I wore it when I went to Jamaica. It was like um, a mustard bralette body, a mustard bralette that I had from them. And like I said, because they did fuller bus, I was like so excited. And then while I was working with Paul Moir, that was his six month contract. And I wasn't allowed to work with any other lingerie brands or anything. And then the second that finished, I contacted them. But I contacted them and it turns out that they had contacted me already and I just didn't see it. Because um, it was on Instagram, it was in my requests folder and I went through all my requests folders. Oh my God, it was like over 400 messages in that requests folder. It was a joke, you guys. Um, and I, yeah, and now we, now we work together, which is absolutely amazing and I'm so, so thankful and I hope it's something we can keep going on with. So yeah, so basically I'm gonna have a shower and start to get ready. I'm not gonna wear makeup today because I'm just really enjoying just not wearing makeup right now um and then we're gonna head out into town and we're going to town together and then we'll just see as the day goes on but yeah it's gonna be like a, a nice little spend the day with me and like i said i'm really really sorry that i haven't vlogged all week but i honestly it would have been so boring that you guys would not have enjoyed it um but yeah let's let's go have fun today <laughs> gonna wear my coat but i'm up to for the shacket because i feel like it's still gonna be chilly outside but you can see that the sun's there the shacket is from f and f you can find it in tesco's the jumper top it's very 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 thin it's basically a long sleeve top it's primark belt is gucci jeans are primark trainers are puma tom got me them for my birthday a couple of years ago and my thing isn't open um that's it the bag i'm taking is my dishoom bag this is my post office bag, I love it. And we're off, we're gonna go and run all our errands and we're gonna need to remember our masks. Now I'll see you on me, we're out. Americano coffee with the blonde roast with nut blend milk, sugar free vanilla syrup, and sugar free caramel syrup. It's very nice. I just think that I need a stirrer, but that's okay. <laughs> Hey 
one so we're back i'm changed already i'm sorry i'm not one of those people that can just sit in outside clothes i'm really not um the second i get back i literally put my comfies on i just untuck my top from my joggers um and i have to be at this level of bagginess and comfort my top is a harley davidson one i got it from a company called true vintage um i think this is a double xl this one and my black one is from there my black one is a large and it fits more so i'm pretty sure with how much looser this is i'm pretty sure this is a double xl and then my joggers are plt i've had them ages i've got a massive hole in them i love them i can't get rid of them we're back i'm out of breath we are back from town tom has just gone to collect some parcels we have a concierge so they always take our parcels for us which is super duper handy and he's going to collect his parcels and i think we're going to watch wanda wanda vision um because we've missed a couple of weeks i thought we only missed two weeks and tom was like no we've missed, missed way more than that but i don't know if he's lying to me tom was fine it was a bit chillier today than usual well, not than usual, but it has been. But it was quite nice. The sun's been out anyway. Um, and then Tom had food in the Arndale Market, a place called, I want to say Tokyo, Tokyo. I hope that's not wrong. Um, and I went to Salt and Pepper MCR, Salt and Pepper and Manchester. I, we went last week to like town and we walked past. The queue was horrifically long and I was like, this place must be good. We went again today, the queue was long. I waited 20 minutes just to place my order and then I waited about 40, about 43 minutes to get my order. Um, and we've messed the order up and I haven't told Tom yet. We ordered, there was no prawns left, which was like fine, okay. We ordered the sticky chicken with rice and salt and pepper chicken wings and salt and pepper chicken wings we've been given a portion of sticky a portion of sticky wings no a portion of sticky chicken a portion of sticky chicken and chips and then two wings so we've been given more than what we paid for but not rice i got chips instead i would have preferred rice but let us not be picky it was manic there so i'm not even um surprised that they've made a couple of mistakes like it's no biggie at the end of the day oh and they gave us the wrong sauce they gave us some like mayo or something like chili mayo i don't know but we ordered soy sauce but if i'm not getting rice then i don't really mind not having soy sauce because i might have like soy sauce with chips i will have mayo with chips i wouldn't have soy sauce with chips anyway um so i'm gonna eat that in a sec it's quarter past four i haven't eaten yet today <laughs> i had a teeny tiny teeny tiny fork of tom's dish he had yakisoba with chicken and it was quite nice to be fair um and then yeah that's all i've done that's all i've eaten everything's been shipped off i feel good and one division let me see how many episodes i'm convinced i've only missed like two have you guys watched one division honestly i think it's it's amazing i really do think it is the best um do you know i don't enjoy disney plus as a as a only because you can't like i don't know what that word is right episode seven yeah we've only missed we've missed three chill out tom oh i missed loads um we've only missed seven eight and nine chill out oh my god They've got the Cinderella with um, Brandy and Whitney Houston in. Tom, do you know Disney Plus has got Cinderella with Brandy in? What? Disney Plus has got the Cinderella with Brandy in. Has it? Yeah. Guess what else? What? Got the order wrong. The order? The food. Yeah. They didn't give us rice, they gave us chips. Mm. And they gave us an extra portion of the sticky chicken. That's good. I know. I just wish that it was rice, that's all. So this is what it looks like. So like I said, they gave, this is the sticky chicken and the chips and then the wings look like that and there's some cucumber in, which I'm excited about. And I think we're either going to watch the Cinderella's or One Division. I think it's going to be One Division. That's my table, don't look. That's a surprise. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's a little bit later now. We've just been watching One Division. Tom fell asleep. Oh, got like little bubbles in my throat. 
Tom fell asleep at the beginning of the last one, so we paused then. I just had a little bit of a shanik so on, watching her declutters. And he's still asleep now, and I thought, let me just do something that I've wanted to do. So you know how I have all of these acrylic storages that I'm trying to get rid of? I can't remember who I saw doing it or mentioning it, but they were like, oh, I might use an acrylic storage in the bathroom. And I was like, hmm, how can I repurpose this into my bathroom? And I have these big ones here. And I was like, right, if my fake tan fits in the bottom drawer, which is the deepest, I will do it. And it does. So we're gonna do that together now. It's really cold out here. We've been sat in the living, well, Tom's obviously still in there, but I've been sat in the living room with the heating on and it's just been so nice. And then coming out here, it's quite cold. Um, I'm gonna set you up in here. This is the bathroom we're in. This is the big bathroom. I don't know if I'd store this in the big bathroom or the ensuite. It's predominantly gonna be my stuff, but I fake turn in the big bathroom, not the little bathroom. And I'm thinking, is it gonna make sense to have all the stuff in the ensuite transport it in here when I do fake tan or what but I'm probably gonna not build it but add all the stuff in this bathroom anyway just because most of the stuff is in here and then yeah so I'm gonna go and get it and then we'll we'll do it I need a wee now I'm in here as well, which is very annoying. It's not annoying at all, I'm literally in the place where you do wee. We need to give this a little clean down as well. I'll go and get some some things to clean it and then we'll um, we'll dig in. But I'm so happy because my fake tan, my thickest fake tan, fits in the bottom drawer. So I'm gonna wee and then we'll clean it and then add stuff in. There you go, you guys can see that. These used to home well, a lot of stuff really, but um, I think most of it was like my pigments and single eyeshadows and like glitters. And you guys know that any of those objects, ah, I just hit my elbow. If any of those objects leak, you're screwed. Should I remember this angle for my degrutters? Is that too low? If you guys could just respond right now, that would be great. <laughs> right, the bottom drawn right my fake tongue. Or oh, is this a thicker one? I don't know. I didn't measure this one. I measured it. Oh, it fits. Right. Let me clean some of these products down as well. You know, moisture here. Yeah, me as well. So this is the James Reed. Gradual tan. Oh, coconut water tan mist. I bought all this James Reed stuff after Jamie Genevieve ringed about it and then she came out and did a collab with you tan instead. So, shit that influencers make me buy. The numero you know. And numero dos. I did give numero tres to a friend. <laughs> um, and buy so much stuff because influencers say it's so bad. Um, but yeah, this one I've nearly finished. I don't really even feel like I have actually used all that. I feel like it's just disappeared. But that's fine. We've got some Bondi. Should have another Bondi somewhere. Or I got the other Bondi. And then my St. Moritz. These are the ones I swear by. St. Moritz for my hands. I am doing a fake tan routine, don't worry. And Bondi Sans Aero. I picked up this one because it's discounted. I don't love it as much. I prefer the arrow. Uh, that gold one I'm just going to put at the top because that's a bit pretty, isn't it? And then all my gloves. I just use normal gloves. I do not use um, a mitt. I feel like you waste so much product. And I'm a stingy bitch. <laughs> Ooh, that looks really nice. I'm really happy. Right. Um, do I have any more fake tanny things? Probably divide these into sections. I do. I have my cute beauty one, but that's going to go on the top as well. And the booty mask. So that looks really pretty. 
Um, yeah, I probably should have divided things into sections. Beforehand, my sheet masks in there. Because you know I got a few from um, Sheet Masks Club. I think I mentioned that in the last year as well, or the vlog before. But all my masks and my mask brush. And then I've got So, tell me what it is, what you want from me, what you want from me. Tell me what it is, don't tell me what it ain't They try to throw salt, it just made the pressure raise Going through a phase, gotta get myself out of it Don't talk about it, boy, they said you gotta be about it So I be trying to face the world head on Front seat riding, cruising down the meadows Pedal to the meadow, cool breeze blowing down the windows Calm trees blowing trees, get that boy some headroom on an interstate in traffic, but I swerve out so What's the moves for the night? What's the word now? What's the link? Hit me up, we could go now I got hella pieces, she got hella features Give me hella geeked up Okay, so this ledge is deeper than the ensuite So it actually fits this And where I wanted it in the ensuite Like the wall was blocking it so I couldn't open it fully So it's just gonna live here And I don't think it looks too bad but I think it's more practical, which I like. So, fake tan, best fake tan, hand fake tan. Influencer made me buy it, it was on sale. <laughs> and then sheet masks and my mask brush. And then cleansers, best thing in the whole entire world. My hilarious nail varnish collection. Um, some backup razors for Tom. Uh, why is it focusing on me? A three mir minute miracle mask for Tom, and then that's just a case for his uh, electric toothbrush. And then plasters, paracetamol, ibuprofen, and some hay fever bits. And then this is the top because when I first got this, it had a lid, but I, I snapped it off. The other one still has a lid, um, but I thought I would just put my bigger bits so that doesn't fit in anything, and luckily, all the bigger bits that don't fit in the drawers are not a bad sight. So I've got my Evlon face mask, a Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm, which Tom's sister actually got me for Christmas. It's really, really nice. Um, my Beauty Girls from Cult, Cult Cute Beauty, my Everyday um, Gradual Tan from Cute Be Beauty, James Reed Tan, and then that's a L'Oreal one back there. And then... It just goes into my butter head and the candle that I use and then I decided to put the rediffuser here. That's a mess. Oh, don't worry. That's also a mess because that needs to go in the bin. And then in, that's all washing that needs to be done. It's just divided. And here we now have this space because this is where that little original pot was. And like I said, like this isn't as deep and then the wall here was blocking it. Um, so I've just got a little bit more area to play with here i don't really know what i'm gonna do probably not much but with a we'll have a little, a little gander together <laughs> i've got my butter over here i love having butters near me i feel like they just ground me so much this one's from thailand i want to say oh yeah <laughs> my top face is dirty sorry don't judge me and then a little butter to keep me safe and healthy do this because this is a mask this is an exfoliator and then this is my little sleep mask this is the glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask which again Tom's sister got me for Christmas this is my little brush to put it on with yeah I think I'm just gonna do this and then the other side has some folk folk faux faux grass and then an elefante and then a bath and body works candle i think this is my last one i have from bath and body works so i just never ever burn it because i don't know when we're going to be able to go back but it's the scent of vanilla pumpkin marshmallow oh it just smells so good it smells like happiness 
And then yeah, I really want to get some eucalyptus for the bathroom, for both bathrooms. And because we've got waterfall shower heads, like tie it to the top of that, I think it would be really good. Because it's meant to like help with stress and anxiety and like skin. It's meant to do a lot of stuff, eucalyptus is. But this is now the bathrooms, which I mean like it's so girly and then like so naturey. Not saying that nature's not girly and not saying that girly is not nature. Right, right. Um, and then now in here, pium, we have him, all of those, all of those, and then him, uh, which I need to try and depart with. I've actually messaged a couple of donation centres and asked if they want them. Um, and I'm just waiting for the response to said question. Okay, so it's now time. Um, so this is from the brand Gookie Dough. You know, like cookie but like gourmet and gooey gookie dough delicious um they've actually sent this to us um they basically make cookie doughs that you can eat gourmet edible cookie dough and they sent us over i want to say the taster pack um they do four flavors and i thought that we would do them and that's what tom will be involved in the vlog because we all love tom Myself included. I'm just gonna open this. So it comes and it says to keep refrigerated. So we've literally had this in the fridge, <laughs> um, waiting for the day to use and to consume it. So it comes. Oh my gosh! Cool. So it comes in like a bag, which I assume you could just take this out and put that in the fridge. And then instructions. You can also bake your cookie dough. Preheat your oven to, oh, please read. Thank you for being awesome and supporting our small business. You guys know on this channel, I myself am a small business with Marshmallow. I'm all, all, all for supporting small, small businesses. Um, as and whenever I can. We're in the process of developing and rebranding cookie dough to give you a brand new look and feel over the coming months. You will notice that both our name, logo and design will be gradually be changing to some accidents. Does that mean that we're expanding? <gasps> This is going to allow us to offer new and exciting products alongside much, alongside a much easier to use and higher quality website. Still, don't worry, it's still nice. There's like two of them behind it all. Right, instructions. You can also bake your cookie dough. Preheat your oven. Ah, preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius. Check. Roll out your cookie dough into balls. Spread these even to baking tray and press down slightly to the flat bake face. So it's probably that long. Cook your cookie dough in. Oh, you can put it in the microwave. Do you want it in the microwave? I'll cook it. Cook it. Okay. Eating it raw, bring to room temperature for awesome taste and texture. All of our packaging is 100% recyclable. That is incredible. Hats off to you both for a two person company. That's incredible. Oh, look. So you get your little bag and in there, the thing that I could feel that was moving around was a chill pack so it even stays chilled and I actually get these when I order Botox. So like I said, I'm pretty sure they sent over the taster pack and in there you get the gooey chocolate chip flavour, which looks like, say, this lighting, and I go really dark. And then you get the Funfettis, I love Funfetti, it always reminds me of Mike the situation. And then you get the red velvet, and then there's also a triple chocolate fudge. Um, and then it says, because we want to bake it, to roll it out. I feel like we should. This is for you. Oh, it smells so good. For we got funfetti, chocolate chip, red velvet, chocolate, double, triple chocolate fudge. Isn't that what it's called? That's what it's called. Pashmant paper. I swear to God, it's called Pashmant paper. Pashmant paper. That's what you want to get. Oh crap. This screen got grabbed then. Pashmant. It's not very different to what I said. All right, which ones do you want to do? I'll do Funfetti and then you can do Red Velvet and Triple. Roll it down, roll it round. What does it taste like raw? It, nice to be fair. it says that it should be brought to room temperature if you have it raw anyway. And then flatten it just like a little cookie. Yeah, I gave you your two flavours. I was just helping you. I'm just going to taste some as well. So this is the Funfetti. I want to show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you think it tastes nice? Yes, nice. Right, 
Right, we're gonna pop these in the oven for about eight minutes and then we'll show you the end. Okay, they are out the oven. I'll show you them in a sec. My discount code, if you wanna do it, is Sophie Liz 10 or one word, S-O-P-H-E-I-E, L-I-Z 10. This is really enjoyable, I'm really excited. Right, say, so we'll show you them. Now, remember we baked them, so they're not like cookies, they're cookie dough. All right, so this one is the triple chocolate fudge. Look how gooey it is. Like, is that not what dreams are made of? And then we managed to harden that little bit as well. So it's like a proper, a proper gooey cookie. Oh, that looks moist. There you go. I think I'm gonna do the triple. Big fan still, it's really nice. A part of me would love to just mix it all together. <laughs> like one big cookie dough. <laughs> that is nice though. The triple chocolate is really nice. This one is the gooey chocolate chip one. Okay. That's nice. It's not as like full rich as that one, as the triple chocolate. Let me try, let me try that one. That was really nice. Are you trying to red velvet yet? Velvet, red velvet poppy, you know. I'm not a proper red velvet person. No. I like it. Right, red velvet. I'm not a red velvet person, I won't lie. What does it taste like? Pink. I thought it was a pink. <laughs> That's nice. Told ya. Papa. But nothing beats that triple chocolate. Yeah, I think it does, you know. I think it beats it. So, what is your. We have to try the Funfetti one. Have you tried the chocolate chip one? No, I didn't. You need to try the chocolate chip one and the Funfetti one, and then we can rank them. I like them too. I think the only one. Oh! That might taste different is the Funfetti's. We had to put it on a, a plate because there wasn't enough room on the, <laughs> on the serving board. Is the fun fetties because that's got sprinkles in. It's like if a birthday cake melted. That's how I would describe that. My favorite, triple chocolate, and then red velvet. I feel like Tom is enjoying that. And then the chocolate chip and then the fun fetties. Is that yours? Yeah. First try around, I'm saying red velvet, and then this cookie dough, innit? The this one. yeah, yeah, that one. That second. Wow. Third is triple chocolate, and fourth is um. The fun fairies. Okay. It, it, it was alright. <laughs> no, it was. Thing, no, it was fit. I think the other three the, are very, very, very strong contenders. Were the, this tasted nicer, innit? Right then, boys and girls and girls and boys. Those are our ranking. Thank you again to Cookie Dough for sending that over, honestly. Then I just brighten up my Saturday evening. I don't know about you, Thomas. And my discount is Sophie Liz Tin, like I said. We're gonna uh, chill out now. I think Tom's gonna watch something of football, as that is all I can see on the screen on TV right now. Saturday, football day, exactly. all, all day. I'm just gonna probably demolish the rest of this. And then we've got some leftover that we're gonna leave in the pots for a different day. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello. It is a lot later now. I think it's about 10 o'clock. Yes. Um, I'm just going to do my skin. Well, I say my skincare. I'm going to apply the one cream I use. Um, and then I probably caught it at night. I've just put down. Uh, well, I've just applied oven cleaner all over the oven. Um, and that's going to marinate overnight. To get optimum, 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 oh, to get the best results possible. Um, we've needed to clean the oven for ages. Like inside the oven isn't that bad. It's just the one of the like racks because Tom's having like burgers um, a bit more often. That it's just getting a little bit manky, and I don't like. Because obviously, like, I bake my keto cookies in there. I don't like um, the chance of them tasting 
or having like burger flavor to them usually i just try and take that rack out but if i can like be lazy and just leave it in i'd prefer to do that so we've just done that for the oven and then i'll clean it um when i wake up tomorrow i'm just applying my cocoa butter i use this every night i use vaseline cocoa in the morning the oil that i showed you this morning and then i use cocoa butter at night and then this is like my new favorite thing i'm pretty sure i showed you guys this last week's vlog it's the vaseline lip oil glossy lip shot i just call it a lip oil but yeah it's a glossy lip shot shot i just think it looks so nice so very very nice we have finished one division and i cried it was so sad um and then i'm going to use the u-turn um almond milk tanning mist 50 percent darker um i assume this is just another version of the tanning water and it's just a different scent to the jamie genevieve ones because i've spoke about it before but i absolutely hate lavender and i got that one to, to support um jamie g and i used it once i finished it that was it i couldn't i couldn't cope i really just don't like the smell of lavender at all I don't like the smell of lavender or rose. I don't like the smell of rose either. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. Spend the day with me. I'm so excited because next week we've got quite a few things pop a lop in. Nothing too crazy. Monday I'm off to the post office again to ship some more orders. Um, Wednesday we... I'm having my car MOT'd and the girl who is buying my alex drawers off me is getting them tomorrow um not tomorrow getting them on wednesday which means and i need to pop to my brother's quickly just to drop something of his off um obviously and we'll just leave it on his doorstep and not communicate but i'm gonna see him from the window and get really excited um and then thursday that means that i can finish this room i can organize everything else out rejig things it won't be absolutely completely finished by thursday because i'm waiting for something else so i'm just gonna leave it at that hopefully it comes next week fingers and toesies crossed um but on thursday it just means that this room like the thing i'm waiting for isn't going to really change anything that much but yeah i'm just really excited just to finally have this room completely done um i'm literally a lot close if not more close to making a massive makeup order like i've decluttered over 50 percent of my makeup collection and i want to buy more it's a joke um but yeah that's basically what i what i got up to today i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm so sorry again that i haven't um vlogged the rest of this week i literally honestly i was just doing all my teaching i am 50 either 57 or 59 percent through my course but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this please check out cookie dough and if you do please use my discount code okay thank you um and cute beauty as well i might do that bum mask <laughs> I might do that bum mask tonight and just like show time and be like, look, <laughs> I'm bum's gonna be perky. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you throughout the week and in next week's vlog.